Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to play you is heartbreaking. It's an example of what they're trying to do to the world. Confusion and separation on a whole nother level. It's absolutely a place of full manipulation and confusion in this situation I'm about to show you right now. So check it out yourself. You went from mother and son to father and daughter. That's right, this father and daughter used to be mother and son. 15-year-old Corey Mason, who loves mascara and lip gloss, was actually born a boy. I always wanted to be a girl. I would always, you know, go like this, you know, like this. I was always growing. And this is the woman who gave birth to Corey and four other kids. She never felt comfortable in her female body. I definitely felt like a boy. I definitely felt like I identified with boys, but I didn't realize it was possible that I could actually be one. <laughs> it wasn't until four years ago. You hear what she just said? I didn't think it was a. I didn't think it was possible that I could actually be a boy. But now she thinks it's possible. Why? Because of what the world is trying to tell you. But I didn't realize it was possible that I could actually be one. <laughs> It wasn't until four years ago when the two watched a TV special on transgender teen activist Jazz Jennings that everything became clear. I said, wow, I'm just like her. I'm a girl trapped in a boy's body. Corey started taking puberty blockers at age 11 to stop facial hair growth and deepening of the voice. You know what that is? This is the moment Corey received her first dose of female hormones. She's overcome with emotion. <laughs> just seeing her courage and her bravery in the face of so much adversity just i think that's ultimately what gave me the courage to come out myself for mom the transition began with a short haircut oh my god the 39 year old then started injecting testosterone my voice has gotten deeper guys you understand they are shooting themselves up with drugs that's what they're doing and their outer appearance is changing because of it. Nobody's, well, can't say nobody, but people in that world, they're clueless. Yet we have an administration that we're under right now that's okay with them doing this. They're damaging themselves. Um, I've grown facial hair, even though I shave it now. Yeah. Earlier this year came the double mastectomy. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. Happy? I felt like I was trapped in a woman's body, and just Whoa. that mastectomy made me feel free. The transition has proved difficult for Les Mason, who married Erica 10 years ago. It's challenging because I married this beautiful woman but I'm getting to the opportunity to see someone become who they truly are. It's prom season across the country. Wait a minute. So the husband's still with the wife? Uh, we, we haven't seen that one before. So she didn't want to turn lesbian. She just wanted to be a dude. Wow. And Corey won't be left out. Even the entire family you. helped pick out a dress. You want it like big and poofy? Ooh, yes, very. Yeah. What you think? Definitely. Her little sister Ellen has a prediction. She's gonna be a prom queen. I know it. This is is who she was meant to be. Is that right? Definitely. No question about it. And though Corey's mother is now a man, he'll never stop being mom. I love you, mom. I love you too. So. She's still called mom. Listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Usually when I do an episode, it doesn't surprise, like I'm not surprised by the craziness. But in this one, it's like, they're changing, but they're not changing. You want to be a dude, but you, but you're still called mom and still married to a man. 
Good Lord, man. Breaks my heart. You know, I used to go real hard on individuals like that. Saying you're crazy and this and that and you're insane and stuff like that. But reaching a place of maturity, I had to come into realization and look at them as the Lord looks at them. And the Lord looks at them like they are souls that are wounded. There are souls that have holes in it. Ultimately, that's all of us dealing with different things. Our souls have different holes in it. Theirs has those like different holes in it. But that's ultimately what it is. And the Lord wants to engraft his word in you. Patch up your holes, clean up your house, your temple, and move inside. The damage that the enemy has done, corrupting the minds of human beings, is devastating. It's even more devastating when they don't even know that God is real, which is also a trick by the enemy. And when you don't know God is, God is real and you're feeling things like this, you don't understand how to fight it in a spiritual way. So you don't even realize you're going to war they don't even realize they're in war with their thoughts so when they have different thoughts come to their head like the boy thinking he's a girl and those thoughts come to his head he doesn't even realize that he's in war he's entered the battlefield why because god is not in the picture when god is not in the picture you don't even realize when you're in war and when you're not following God, even when you know you're in war, you don't even know how to fight your battle. You don't know how to fight your battle because you're not truly following the Lord. You're not truly in his word to, under, try to understand how to fight your battle. So you, that's why you have a mother with a family and a husband. That's what's really messed up about things like this. A lot of times when people change and they're in a family, they leave their family. I've seen it where grown men have left their his have left their wives because they wanted to identify as babies. So got adopted parents and now grown men are in diapers acting like babies at some adopted some some adults house where their screws are a little loose as well. Taking in a, an adult man, treating him like he's a baby. It's not of God, my brothers and sisters. It's division. But our job is to continue to allow the Lord to illuminate through us for people to see. Hallelujah. And also feel and praying hope that they come into salvation and start their process where the Lord can illuminate them. Amen. Pray for these individuals. Amen. God bless. Shalom.